hi everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm showing you how i did my first time making these little mini breakable hearts they didn't come out perfect but i just wanted to show you guys that you guys could do things at home for these little mini conversation hearts you're gonna need white chocolate i just got mine from a local bakery store and then you're gonna need a few bowls i use like little cups and really tiny sauce bowls and i just estimated how much i would need for about two hearts per color um so i'm separating them in different bowls because we're going to be dyeing this today so i went ahead and melted my chocolate in one minute intervals and it should look something like this if you have good chocolate so i'm gonna take my mold and this one i actually ordered on amazon i'll go ahead and see if i can link it down below and i'm just pouring the white chocolate i'm gonna start with white that way i don't have to dye this one and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill it with a good amount of chocolate and i'm going to just move it around the sides that way it could spread um i watched like a few videos of how to do it so i was like okay but just a spoiler alert that didn't work for all of them um i also saw someone use a popsicle stick so as you see here i'm just taking the fork that i'm using and i'm kind of just using it as like a little tool to get all the sides um you're gonna want to make sure that you're not like scraping all the way down that way because it's gonna leave like air bubbles and stuff but just make sure that all of the sides have the white chocolate on there and then now we're moving on to pink so for the pink i'm going to be using this candy color by chef master and this is in the color pink and i'm just putting a few drops into the white chocolate and this is all going to depend on how pink you want the chocolate and this is what mine's is looking like and then I'm just repeating those same two steps. I'm mixing the chocolate, dumping the chocolate into the mold, and then I'm going to just spread that around and make sure there's a nice layer over everything. So I just let that dry and then I stuck it in the fridge for like 10 minutes and then it was ready to pop out. So you're going to be super, super, super gentle with this part. Um, you can fuck it up really easily so just go ahead and push it out of the mold make sure that it's off of the mold before you push it out because then you're just gonna break it um, so just kind of wiggle it around take the sides off of them and then you can take it out So for the next color, I'm doing yellow, and like I said earlier, it's super easy because you just add as much color as you want. Um, so I'm going for pastels. So I just filled the yellow, and then and now I'm going to be making orange. So I'm going to use the yellow and add a little bit of red, and it's going to give me this nice pastel orange color. And I'm just going to repeat the same step. I found it easier to grab like a mini spatula and just kind of like load it in there if that makes any sense. Um, I didn't really care about the inside of the little breakable hearts because you can't see them. So I wasn't too hard on myself on making it perfect on the inside. I also found it way easier that my chocolate hearts weren't so thin because I was able to work with them a little bit more rough if that makes sense I didn't have to be as gentle because I had like a thicker layer inside so um so I'm just doing the same thing here I made kind of like a um, sagey green color and I'm just filling the heart and then next just making a purple color using blue and the red and they're all going to be pastels um but this is the purple that i came up with just repeat the steps fill the mold 
and make sure that all the sides are covered. <laughs> I don't know what happened here because I look like I made a big mess. Okay, so I wrote out on a piece of paper what I wanted to write on all of them. So some of them said lol or no or like little conversation heart phrases and I just wrote them all out for all of them on a piece of paper and I counted how many letters of each letter I needed and I basically just mixed up a red with the white and the red dye and I just filled in all of the letters that I thought I needed um this is where i kind of messed up because some of my letters had a lot of like air bubbles so if you're gonna do this just make sure you kind of tap the mold on the table or something that way you can get all the air bubbles and this is just future me telling you because you can't tell on this but definitely when i popped them out they had a little air bubbles so maybe tap a little bit harder or more so I went ahead and just popped that in the fridge and I did a few um, of each letter off camera and now I'm just popping out the rest of the hearts gently but not too gently because I made them a little bit thicker for the specific reason that I'm not that gentle with things so everything came out super super cute and moving on to packaging the heart box conversation heart box i don't even know what to call it um i went ahead and laid down some cardstock on the bottom um because the box was like lightweight flimsy and then i'm just throwing in some filler in there just so that it's not so bland and then throwing in on top of that i'm putting some real conversation hearts um and I'm sprinkling those around just to give a little razzle dazzle. Using some mini cupcake holders, I am placing my little chocolate hearts inside of them. Um, mine were mini, but a regular sized cupcake holder would probably work better because they were kind of balancing on one that was too tiny. Um, so I'm just placing my chocolates the way that I would aesthetically like seeing them. So the colors like obviously not right next to each other. Um, the same colors I mean. So the last step is putting the letters on there. So I'm just popping all the letters out. And these you have to be really, really, really careful with because they're super fragile. And I'm just popping the letters out and kind of organizing them by the phrases that I'm going to have. So to stick the chocolate on, I'm just using some of the chocolate that I made the letters with. I melted it again and I'm just dabbing a little tiny bit on the back of the letter. And that's going to act as glue for the letters. So this was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, I hope you guys can follow along and create your own or even better. I just wanted to come on my channel and just share with you that you guys can make whoever your loved ones um valentine's a little bit special with something that you made from home so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this and makeup videos and yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye everyone